the main city manager Michael Appleton. Is it a sign of your team's maturity that you've got the result you have today? Maybe earlier in the season it might have ended as a draw. Yeah, possibly. You know, we we we've spoke about many times about being a team for all seasons and finding different ways to win games. Um, you know, there was nothing really in it in the first half. Obviously from the territory point of view, you know, they had a little bit more territory because they do go to back, back to front pretty quickly and um, sometimes you can get pinned in and it's difficult to get out at times. Um, I thought we had the one big chance in the first half with Joe Walsh that, you know, probably should have taken. Um, but in the second half, I was delighted with the, the way we went about it. Um, you know, we, we, we created some really good opportunities before we scored. Um, if you felt it might have been one of those days, keeper made a couple of good blocks, Kia made a couple of good blocks. But I thought once we went ahead, um, I was fairly confident we'd see the game out. Yeah, that first half, it was almost like a basketball game, was it? A real pace to it. Yeah, I think we expected that. And, you know, we, I think we did look a little bit like a, seat, a side in the first maybe 20 minutes who hadn't played for 10 days or so. Um, and... What we did well was we we did the basics well in that in that early period. We didn't do anything but the basics well. Like you know, the time and time again, we we give the ball away. Good players giving the ball away, uh, which is unlike us. But once we got through that period, uh, like I say, in the second half, there's some really good movement and some good um, good bits of play. You make a substitution and he goes and scores. So he is first goal for the club. Yeah, I just felt we needed a little bit more running beyond. You know, I think a lot of the stuff at times is in front of them. Once we switch the play, it's really important to utilise, obviously, the space that creates from switching the play. And one thing, really, Connor's really good. He's, he's, you know, he's got the legs and he's got athleticism. So, um, yeah, it gives us um, a little bit more impetus, as opposed to try and get beyond uh, the, the back four of Northampton. Good vision from, from Tom for the second. Look up and see the ball square. Yeah, it was. And, and do you know what? You know, Anthony had to really concentrate on that because it was, it was a much more difficult finish than what you think. Um, the pitch is a little bit lively at the minute and um, it was fizzing across so he showed really good concentration. What he did was he backed himself skulls. You know, he, he didn't he wasn't hesitant, he just went boom, you know, he put his foot through it and it was a good finish. Is that a sign of your team though? No fair football? Yeah, a little bit. And you know, we've got different challenges ahead of us, obviously. You know, we've got a tough game on Tuesday, probably even tougher than it was probably going to be after the result they've had today, you know. Uh, they're gonna really wanna sort of put that right. I think that's a good thing, if I'm being honest, though, because the players should be aware that they, they shouldn't really need me, you know, saying that there's no doubt about it. Portsmouth are going to come out the blocks on Tuesday. But, um, yeah, I mean, two really good games to look forward to against sides that are, are right up there. It was harsh in the mouth a bit with, I think it was Liam's challenge in the, in the box in the second half. We were, I must be honest, we were 50 50 whether it was a penalty. Yeah, I didn't think it was a penalty, and I, you know, but. You know, it's one of them where obviously these days, you know, the way referees are, you wouldn't be surprised if it was. But I thought he does that challenge quite well. You guys have probably seen it for up there. He times his challenges quite well. He did one in the previous game against uh, Accrington, I think it was, where the ball's gone in as well and gone beyond. So um, he's an experienced player. The one thing I would say is that the bench were appealing like mad, but none of the players appealed, which probably gives you a little bit of an indication of probably... It was a fair, fair crap. As a former player, I mean, like, obviously you wanted to keep that clean sheet, but it was a bit of a world at the end, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Right, listen, I said that to the players. I said, you know, you can be disappointed wanting to keep clean sheets, but you know, goals like that, they only come around every now and again. It was a wonderful goal, you know. Um, and even the Sam Hoskins one, you could say they could turn around, and go, we could have got a draw out of it. But the reality is, is like, you know, the amount of opportunities we created in the second half, it would have been a, a bit harsh, I think, only to take a point. But having said that, you know, when people um, take opportunities and, and, and take the strikes like uh, you know Rose did for the goal and obviously Hoskins then sometimes you've got to hold your hands up. As we discussed at lunch on they look much improved and actually they, they could be a, a dangerous team for you've played them now home the way other teams mm. could lose a few points to them. Yeah well obviously they're fighting for the Lions they want to stay in the division don't they and uh, obviously Keith did an incredible job for, for Northampton last year getting them promoted we all see them in the playoffs because everybody couldn't go out or couldn't do anything so we all like to watch football um, and, you know, just recently, I said to you before the game, didn't I, you know, they beat Gillingham and it was fairly comfortable and obviously drawing with Sunderland's no, no mean feat. You know, we couldn't do it, could we? So, uh, you know, yeah, it's um, game after game after game. There's no easy ones. They're just, they're just different uh, challenges. And what a challenge now on, on Tuesday night. I mean, it's such a shame you take so many times the fans couldn't come because I'm sure there'd be a huge following, but a, a really big game and perhaps a bit more pressure on them than you at the moment after today. Yeah, possibly. But, you know, Kenny... 
He's a very, very experienced man. Um, won many promotions with different teams. Um, you know, I, I've managed that football club, so I know the expectations on it from the fan, from a fan point of view. And regardless whether they're in the stadium or not, you know, you, you, you do feel that. Um, listen, this, this, this sets it up quite nice for us. You know, we know that it was a very young side that played them early on in the season here. You know, a very different side to hopefully what they're going to face on Tuesday. And we're just hoping for a different result. And I assume, we, obviously, I know we mentioned it at lunchtime, but no, nothing in the transfer market. You're not expecting till later in the in the window now. No, yeah, it'll be um, back in the next week. As I, I would imagine if um, we do something, I, I'm hopeful we will get a couple, hopefully. Um, but uh, I don't see it before Tuesday's game.